What's my ninjas? It's D here and today I'm going to do a tutorial on this website called Booth. Booth is a Japanese website so you, in order to get the English version you're going to want to go to booth.pm slash en and that will get you to the English you know translated site. This is basically what it looks like when you go to the home page at least for me it is. Obviously it might be different but as you can see Booth is a great resource for Vroid, VTubing, Unity, Blender, just a ton of resources on this site, and it's great. In order to use Vroid, you're gonna to wanna to search Vroid into the bar, and you can see all these textures, which some are free, some are paid, but all of these will be extremely helpful, especially if you're new to VTubing, you don't know how to draw, you don't know how to like design. These are great, just they're awesome, honestly. Now, if you want to try something for free, this is the price range. Drive that to zero, and all these are free to use. However, you need to make sure you read the rules. So some of these will say you cannot use it for commercial, only personal, you cannot modify it. For this one example, you're free to modify the data, but you cannot redistribute or sell any modified versions. So all of these, is very it's very important. I cannot stress, it's very important you read the rules per the designer because you don't want to you know get them upset you don't want to break any rules laws and you also don't want the VTubing community to come after you if they find out you're using you know things you're not supposed to anyway moving on if you want to find things like eyes like right here this is something that's free make sure it says appreciate credit free to use in videos and streaming can I redistribute ta-da just be very aware of what these artists say and just respect their wishes, right? Now, you're gonna notice that some of these will be .zip files and some of them will be .png files. .png files, you guys probably know how to import that into Vroid Studio is fine. .zip files, right, means that all those .pngs are in like a folder that you have to unzip. Google how to unzip a folder if you don't know what that is. But uh, yeah, guys. Dot .zip files, just unzip them, that's all it is. The file is in there somewhere. Now another cool thing that I liked about using this site as a beginning VTuber was to search up hair textures or like hairstyles because hair is very difficult, right? Like figuring out how to make it. So it's cool to see how people, you know, learn to do buns or braids to get an idea. Of course, double check if you can even use the hairs commercially, whatever, right? We're gonna, I'm gonna stop saying that, but just hammer that in your head, commercial usage, permission. You need to make sure you check that out. But back to this. Tons of hair textures, males, females, etc. And just get a great idea on how to do this on your own. Look, there's one for cat. Oh, that's so cute. Um, and yeah, Booth is great. You can find a lot of things on here including glasses like a lot of people want to do glasses on their avatar i pff, did not spare glasses right oh my god ignore me and there you go free some are free some are paid you'll notice that it is in yen so make sure before you buy things you do that you do that conversion rate to your actual um whatever money you go by usd for us and yeah i mean look at this it's it's great Seriously, you might even be able to find like tattoos or something. I don't know. However, uh, there are also things on. Yep, I, yep, that is exactly what I thought would happen. You're gonna find things that aren't aren't no. Um, the there are other people selling on this site than just VTubers, obviously. So if you get like artwork or like photos of people, girls, uh, ignore them. Just that's why it's it's important to uh, to write what you actually want on this site. Uh, all right, so something I really suggest if you draw a lot or if you want to make like a little side hustle is to make a website on your own on Booth because so many VTubers use this website. It's a great way to just promote yourself on it. Um, as you can see, I sell my anime outfits that I've made just for fun, and I have like it's non-commercial. I write in the rules like. You know, don't modify it, you don't claim it as your own, etc. right? Because I don't own these designs, hell no. Um, but you can create your own and just, you know, put yourself out there. It's very cool, and you'll notice that a lot of famous VTubers who uh, make commissions, make avatars, are actually also on this site. 
And yeah, just check it out, really. So, like I said, Boost is a great resource, especially if you're a new VTuber. So that's all the tutorial is. I hope you guys like, please subscribe, like it, and comment below what tutorials you want to see next from me, and I'll be happy to do them. All right, bye guys. <laughs>